Hi, uh, this is Hiro Ino with Spansion. I'm really excited to talk to you about the evolution of the Hyperbus interface with the second product, Hyper RAM. So this is the second product category that Spansion is introducing um, for after Hyper Flash. So let me tell you a little bit more about it. First, the problem statement. What you see on the left-hand side is a block diagram of a typical interface um, between a host small chip and uh, memory solution. So what you see up here is a NOR at the bottom is the DRAM. And in order to connect these two devices to the host, you will require quite a few uh, uh, number of pins, uh, more so in the DRAM. We see here on the left hand side is a dual quad SPI device indicated by a green uh, ball. On the right hand side is the DRAM, the red balls. You can see here that there's approximately 50 pins or so just to support a RAM device. And in order to do this for the system designer, you have to route all these signals, which means that you're going to have many more signal layers, perhaps six or more, to just support these two memory elements in the system. So what we've set out to do is try to fix this thing. Hence the HyperRAM. Result of HyperRAM is that we now can have a flash device and a RAM device residing on the same HyperBus, which means that you could reduce all these pins, or the the host manufacturer can reduce all these pins, um, and just add the chip select to the HyperBus for the HyperRAM, total of 13 pins, and now you have a HyperFlash and a HyperRAM in a very small pin footprint. What this means to you is that you can now reduce the layers, uh, signal layers on the PC board because you only need to route 13 pins, which means that uh, tremendous cost savings for you. And uh, so overall, with the Hyper RAM introduction, uh, Hyper Flash, Hyper RAM on Hyper Bus with uh, cost savings. And that's really the valid proposition of, of uh, Hyper RAM. So, the Hyper Bus interface, you've probably seen this before, but we had, uh, we made a little bit of a tweak to accommodate the RAM element, um, the RAM functionality of Hyper RAM. Uh, it's the read-write data stroke. Originally this was a read data stroke. Now we also added the write functionality into that signal. We're not increasing pin count. We're just using the same signal, but now adding more features to the Hyperbus family of products. So again, HyperRAM. It's a very exciting solution for us. It's a new category for us using the Hyperbus uh, memory interface. So uh, stay tuned for more information uh, for Spasson with regard to the HyperRAM product family. Thank you.